And the first number is 11! Fighter number 11, step right up! <sighs> All right, now time to find out who will be fighting beside you. Let's see. Who will it be? Eight! It's fighter number eight! Number eight, make your way up to the stage! Charmed, I'm sure. Hold on a wee second there. Huh? I'm not putting this young lassie's fate in the hands of a ballyhoo like you and your box of balls. Uh, but, sir, uh, sir, it's it's the rules. You don't tell you anything else, you gotta say it. I mean, uh, allow me to check that with the uh, official adjudicator. Even you're impressed. Yeah, she ain't bad. Excuse me, lassie. Would you mind standing aside? Uh, oh, yes, of course. Sorry. Shall we? Hmm. I'd keep a close eye on your partner if I were you. Invincibles, if you please! They're hot favorites, folks, but will our hometown hero be able to retain his crown? Or will surprise newcomers Rab and Jade snatch glory from the reigning champ? Will the princess and the pudding please take to the stage? Yes, it's the girl who moves like lightning and the old guy who doesn't move at all! Will they be making history here today? It's time to find out! Something about these two gives me the willies. But we got this. Time for a little good luck boost. Did you see that? I did. Oh, yeah! Let's do this. Let's win this thing. Hmm. All right, laddie. Show us what you've got. This is it, folks. One last time now. <laughs> Fight! Oh, 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 oh. Look out! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
What in the w- It can't be. Can it? Caught you napping, old man! You too? What's with everybody all of a sudden? Not that I'm complaining. You're up, partner! We, we have a winner! Hey! Brought you a fresh one! out of town all those years ago. <sighs> Everything's ready. Thank you, Princess. It looks just perfect. Wait, you don't mean... If the rest of you wouldn't mind standing back here with me, only members of the Dracillian royal family may perform the ritual. How come he called you Princess? Are you? Quiet now. The ritual is about to begin. Lady Eleanor. <gasps> Who's there? You weren't supposed to see that. I was just thinking about Lady Eleanor. I... I mean, your mother. Why don't we take a little walk? My mother was a rather sickly soul by all accounts. She died not long after I was born. So, in a sense, Lady Eleanor was the only real mother I ever knew. She used to read me stories, take me flower picking. I loved her so much. You can imagine how happy I was when I heard she was having a baby. I couldn't wait to meet my little brother. You know, it was raining like this the last time I ever saw her. I can't believe how much time has passed since then. Hmm? Wait, up there! Something tells me they're looking for you and your friends. And there's only one kingdom that can send that many soldiers out on a manhunt. Come on, we need to get back to the others. Where are the ones from the altar? No sign of them. What about the Darkspawn? 
No sign of him either. Blast! They must have gone away. It, it's him! <gasps> He's over here! The Darkspawn is over here! Oh, for goodness sake. <sighs> what shall we do with the girl? Sir Hendrik's orders were to bring the Darkspawn back alive. He never said anything about anyone foolish enough to side with him. Just you try it. I can't be expected to take her on alone. Sir Hendrik! Sir Hendrik! Come on. We'll head around the mountain and meet up with the others before he gets back. I have you at last, Darkspawn. There is nowhere left to run. You are a slippery one, I will give you that. I had not thought you would make it this far after I picked up your scent in Octagonia. Men, the Darkspawn is mine. Deal with the girl. Forward! This is all the dreaded child of darkness can muster. Pathetic. You will evade me no longer, Darkspawn. The chase ends here. Princess Jade? Surely not. You go again. <sighs> oh, good. You're awake. I'm soaked through. Let's get warmed up, shall we? I... I'm glad I caught you. I couldn't have forgiven myself if... if it happened again. I suppose Rab must have told you about your mother. She sacrificed herself to save you and the Princess of Heliodor. Well, you've probably worked it out for yourself already, but... I was that princess. Your mother saved my life. That night, the night Dandrasil fell, we ran from the castle, but... the monsters were too fast. She handed you to me, and distracted them for long enough for us to get away. 
She died to save us. But even though she trusted me with you, I... I was too weak and stupid to... I fell in the river and... I let you go. I can't tell you how many times I've wished that it was you rabbit-fished out of there and not me. After he found me, we headed back to Heliodor. We thought my father might help us to find you. But when we got there, we found out he was telling people I'd been killed by the Luminary. He was trying to make people believe awful things about you. Brad was convinced that he wasn't in his right mind. Someone must be controlling him. So we set out together to find out who and why. I never expected to see Hendrik again, let alone on a battlefield. We were lucky to get out of there alive. dying down. We should head back to Dundrasil. <gasps> so I was right. I had suspected it would take more than a mere fall to put pay to the Darkspawn. Sir Hendrik. Can it really have been so many years since that fateful night, Princess? To see you alive and well, you cannot imagine how much this pleases me. But should you choose to continue to side with the Child of Darkness, you may not live for much longer. Look, I know how you feel about duty, Hendrik. How could I forget? You don't understand how important this is. Please, you have to let us go. You would ask a sworn knight of Heliodor to disobey the orders of his king? You have been away from home too long, girl. Not long enough for the years to have changed you. Still loyal to a fault. I wish it didn't have to come to this. But it has. Impressive, Princess. The spirited young girl of old has grown into quite the warrior maiden. Oh, please. I'm not a child anymore. It'll take more than a pat on the head to distract me. And what will it take to convince you that I am deadly serious? That if you stand on the side of the Dark Spawn, I will have no choice but to destroy you! Yeah! Princess. I'm sorry. Get on. Now hold on tight. Princess, what have you become? of your kind here. Well, don't worry. We'll look after you. If you'll just follow me. 
to the slaughter, eh? Huh? C can it really be? Princess? Hendrik, what's a man as dull as you doing in a place as lively as this? Hmm? I suppose even fine, upstanding knights of the realm need a cheap thrill every now and again, eh? Well, are you ready to play? B -b you, I... What's the matter, Henny Wenny? Can't cut your tongue. Is the king's little lapdog scared of a bit of fun? I've been pining for a puppy as it happens. Maybe I'll choose you. If you sit up and beg like a good boy. Jade, listen to yourself, lassie. What's happened to you? Stop all this nonsense and come with us, will you? In case you've forgotten, Mordigan's still out there. We need you. Oh, be quiet, you doddery old fool. You're ruining the mood. Wow, Mordigan's still out there. Well, he can stay out there for a while. I'm Boogers now. He's the only one that matters to me. My heart, my soul, my body. They're all his. Why in the world would I want to join your band of do-gooders? I'm happy here. Happy for the first time in my life. You are a princess of Heliodor. You will behave like one. This den of iniquity is no place for a lady. You are coming with us. Yeah. I'm going nowhere, and you can keep your hands to yourself. What would you know about ladies, anyway? Tell you what, why don't I give you a crash course? My foot crashing into your face. Come on now, lassie. That's enough foolishness. Come along with us, will ye? Oh dear. Well, isn't this awkward? You appear to have nobbled my number one croupier. <gasps> into such a silly spectacle. Honey, you have no taste. <laughs> oh, Jade. My pretty little kitty cat. Look what the nasty people did to you. <laughs> King Booga will punish them. You'll see. Step away from the princess fiend. She is coming with us. <laughs> Come to steal away my pretty, have you? No, 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 that just won't do. Not after I went to all the trouble of putting her under my spell. Do you think it was easy turning such a lovely girl into a horrible monster? 
You can turn humans into monsters? D does that mean all the others are they? <laughs> of course! Jade wasn't my first, you know. All my lovely girls used to be human, and the boys too. Nothing like making a monster out of a smug human who thinks they've beaten the house. That soon wipes the smile off their faces, let me tell you. Now listen here, you. Jade's coming with us. You'll be using her for no more of your nefarious nonsense. <laughs> My casino has a zero-tolerance policy towards troublemakers. I would throw you out, but I'd rather crush you to a pulp. I don't feel right. My spell... No! It's... weakling! <laughs> Where am I? Hendrik? All of you, what... What's going on? Oh, it, it hurts. It's not fair. The house always wins, doesn't it? I am Booga, brightest and most beautiful of the spectrum. Sentinels. You. Booga. <laughs> yes. Now I remember. I remember everything, in fact. Have your wicked way with me, would you? in me. Something tells me it's going to come in handy. I'm so sorry. You must have been so worried about me. Ah, didn't give that a second thought, lassie. You're safe and sound now. That's the important thing. Princess, my behavior was unforgivable. I do not ask for forgiveness. I ask only that you understand that all I do, I do that the Lord of Shadows might be defeated. What kind of way to say hello is that, Henny Wenny? Less of the nightly nonsense. We'll have to spank you. Oh, I will. Uh... Oh, I'm only joking. <laughs> Thanks for always being there, Hendrik. I mean that. And as for you, 
Something's changed since I last saw you. You seem tougher. Here, I think you'd better have this. I found it on my travels, and I've been trying to track you down to give it to you ever since. You already know how it works. Maybe one of those columns of light out at sea will open up some new horizons. Right, we've got more friends to find, and an evil overlord to beat. Don't you think we'd better get going?